Hey everyone, this is Rocky from WeLearnChess.com and I was playing another Blitz tournament, another 5-0 tournament on Chess.com and uh, I got my second Chess Master. I've played a, a couple Masters um, in the local library. Actually, I actually played a guy who used to be like president of the USCF and uh, he knew Bobby Fischer and everything. It's pretty cool. But uh, online I've only played just the just the other day, the video I posted with the uh, National Master, and now I got a Candidates Master. Pretty sure Candidates Masters are, uh, I don't know if that's just a England, a British thing. But yeah, anyway, my opponent, well, he was only rated like 1800, um, and I've actually been rated over that before too, so I'm not quite really sure how the strength of the CMs are. I know King's Crusher is a CM, and they're obviously stronger than me, but uh, yeah, anyway, my rating right now is terrible. I just dropped like 100 points because I was playing bunch of 5-0 and apparently I'm no good at it uh, but okay I had the white pieces here and we get this uh, French defense where black goes for the isolated uh, Queen's pawn position which um, there's a couple really good videos on chess.com if you're a premium member uh, like a diamond member um, about how to play with the IQP and how to play against it if you're playing against it you usually want to try to control the square uh, right in front of the pawn, so that's why I played uh, c3 here, and I've got the two knights looking at this square. Uh, so I've got really nice control over it. That kind of just that makes sure that the person with the isolated queen's pawn can't push it, because a lot of times pushing it can either create problems for you, uh, it can open up diagonals at opportune times, or it can just liquidate the pawn in, in a, at a moment when it's convenient for him to do so where you end up having to trade and then you end up taking on an isolated pawn yourself. Uh, sometimes even the person with the IQB can just sack it uh, just to open up lines. But I've got pretty good control here so my objective is to try to simplify a little bit the position make sure I don't get under a huge attack. Usually the person with the IQB is attacking because there's so many open uh, you know, diagonals for his pieces uh, and his knights come out to good squares. A lot of times he'll use the isolated pawn as an outpost, so he'll put a knight into an annoying spot where it's hard to take it. Um, and if you do take it, then all of a sudden the pawn's not isolated anymore. So, um, yeah, so try to simplify a little bit and get to a position where I can safely win the pawn. Um, but of course, uh, the attacking side gets to have more fun. This was kind of a silly decision. I, I just didn't like uh, the looks of the attack he was getting, but I probably shouldn't have taken on this weakness because it's just... I mean, my the imbalance in the position was that I didn't have the IQP and he did. So uh, by make by making this weakness, I kind of you know undid any maybe small advantage that I might have had. Um, so I just wanted to show a couple spots here. I did lose a pawn here, but I I would say I more or less traded it. I mean, I have a uh, really nice activity now. Um, so he saw that and came back. He just wanted to protect f6 and make sure I couldn't sack there. Um, but actually, he misses it right. He wanted to trade queens there. I avoided the queen trade, and now this is actually a blunder because uh, it actually drops a piece. If you want to uh, pause your video and take a look, you can see why an entire piece is lost. Okay, so I had looked at this move about four or five moves ago, and I, I just saw that the queen was holding the knight, and then I forgot about it. But that's why you always have to reevaluate the position when the pieces move around, because sometimes a tactic wasn't available before all of a sudden becomes available. So now this uh, rook takes f6, been really strong. He obviously can't take it because it's just made in one. And if he can't do that, I'm also threatening f7, so he just has to go back. We can take this and. Uh, now I'm threatening here, and I'm threatening mate here, so the only move is rook g8, which is terrible. Uh, and then I've got this really nice move with the knight, and I can come in and I'm threatening all kinds of stuff, like... Uh, not really sure what he should do. I mean, if he wants to try to get back... Uh, I don't know, if he wants to try to get back for defense, but I've got this nifty move here, which is really nice. Um, and he can't take it, obviously, because the mate. And if he can't do that, then I'm not really sure what he should do. I mean, 
now I'm threatening a smothered mate. Uh, or, well, I'm threatening to win the queen right now. If he didn't do anything, and he still can't take this. Because I've got this mate. So probably the only move is to play the rook out here that way. Uh, I'm not actually threatening the smothered mate. Um, he still isn't threatening to take this as long as I've got my rook on the G file. So I'm not sure what I would play here, but I'd certainly much rather be uh, be white. And remember, this rook has this pawn too, so I could probably maneuver back around. In either case, um, white uh, black's just lost there. So I actually missed a chance to just totally uh, destroy this candidate's master. And it's a shame because I had looked at the move a few moves prior and I just didn't play it. Okay, so in the game I um, went for something else. I was looking at this fork here on the rooks. So um, I didn't see this move, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, here I, <laughs> I made another mistake. I had another win. Um, I can just take this and uh, he can't take my rook because it's made in one. So that means he would have to, oops, he would have to take this back. And if he's got to do that, then um, I've got one move where I can, uh, yeah, I can just drop it back. And I mean, if he does something like this, yeah, I've got to move the rook, but then, you know, I can get a tempo on the queen here, something like this. and. I'm up the exchange. Uh, it's kind of tough for the knight to come in and do anything nasty to me. His king is open. So at some point, I might be able to trade queens with the check or or a pin. So uh, yeah, I, that's, uh, I had another win. <laughs> so I was doing pretty well against this, uh, this master if I was able to find the tactics, but I didn't. Um, part of it's, I mean, the time control for me is a little fast, but uh, I think a lot of times just moving too fast and being blind to looking at all parts of the board. So um, yeah, the the game I played this, I took the knight over here and I was just thinking that all his pawns were weak. And here I had actually like, I can't remember, it was under 30 seconds I think. So I took this, but that obviously is a mistake because my king's fairly safe. And his king is not at all, so if I had had more time, I probably would have played something like this. And I looked at this, I just uh, I just couldn't do it well with the time. So I just tried to liquidate as many pawns as I could, and then I should be able to hold this. Black is obviously better here. I blundered this pawn. I could have just taken that with check. But, um, I mean, we're just almost pre-moving at this point. I think his time was, uh, well, he had more time, but it still was pretty under a minute. So anyway, I lost on time, and well, now that position's terrible for me uh, when he gets the pawn here to a3 so easily. I could have checked first and got behind the pawn, um, although he could have checked me there too. So I'm not quite sure how I was supposed to save that, but definitely uh, once the pawn gets this far, it's pretty tough to save because it's on the same rank as the king here, and I'm going to get checked at some point and lose that. Um, but yeah, so um, it was an interesting game. I thought I did pretty well there, and uh, it's a shame I couldn't take home the win, but still wanted to show it. So, uh, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you around for the next video.